Hey guys, my name is Vape and welcome back to another episode in Dinosaur Mine. Episode 121, if I'm not mistaken. And I want to start off by trying out a few of your guys' suggestions throughout the last couple of episodes. I mean, I try to keep up with your guys' suggestions all the times, but sometimes I'm having a harder time than other times and I forgot a couple of things throughout the last few episodes, so let's try that out. We don't have enough vines for that. Do we have more vines in here? I don't think so. Oh yeah, I do. So, oh crap, look at my inventory. Crazy times, I've been streaming again. And I haven't cleaned up my inventory afterwards and I died, I lost 29 levels on the stream. Oh, that was annoying. But we're gonna get into that later and I'm gonna show you what I did on the stream. First, I wanna get your suggestions covered though. Why is my, my inventory such a mess? I don't even see a lot of stuff that I don't really need. Man, these mods, they sure... Maybe I really have to install one of the um, backpack mods or something so I can store more stuff because I'm having a hard time storing all these different chisel variants of the blocks. Anyways, okay. One thing that someone suggested was um, moss balls, I think. And you do those by... Wait, where are my vines? Did I not just have vines here? There they are. Uh, you need you use vines and you use sticks, which is a recipe I never heard. It must be part of the chisel mod, I would assume. Let me scroll here. Where was this comment? There it is. Vine, stick, vine, stick, vine, stick. Oh, so we need five vines. Okay, good to know. Um, let's get some of those. I think you do it like that, if I read it correctly. Indeed! Ball of moss, right click to throw. This will turn cobblestone to moss stone on impact. That is interesting. I don't really want to waste so many vines, but I definitely want to try it out. Is it like really a ball? It's an item, we're gonna try it out in the compi enclosure here in a bit. There are a few other things that I wanted to try out too. Um, let's grab some glowstone dust. I'm gonna try that out here though. Let's see, someone said if I use a carpenter's block and put just any block in there and then... No, that doesn't work. Oh, it does! Look at it! It emits light! Isn't that crazy? I wonder how much light is it? Can I say? 13... Yeah, it looks like it's emitting like the same amount of light. Well, one less than a full glowstone would, but this is awesome. So we can light up stuff without actually lighting up the stuff. <laughs> and I think that's pretty amazing. So we can definitely put that to good use in some places, especially in the compi enclosure. We don't need all this trapdoor stuff. We just place some glowstone dust on the floor. That should do the trick. So ver thanks so much for that little tip. Oh man, my inventory is messing, messing everything up again. Okay, let's leave those here for now. I don't know if I need them today. If I should need them, I'm just gonna get them back. And I'm also gonna put these towards this so I save another inventory spot. Look at me being all efficient and stuff. <laughs> at least a little bit. Oh crap, okay. And I'm also, I think I'm gonna leave these slabs behind. Okay, let me see. What else was it? There were a few more things that I wanted to try out. Um, let me go through the comments. See, yeah, I have a, I have them all up on my other screen. Yeah, someone suggested putting um, lights in the ceiling of the compi enclosure to get more light done. And that might look cool too. Maybe the some of the neon glowstone. I'm really, really short on glowstone right now though, so I can't really try that today. But there is one more thing I want to try that actually someone commented about a... Uh, couple of episodes ago. Was it this? Laboratory blocks. This is something that um, I have, I I mean, we should have used it probably in our, in our lab before, but I don't want to redo it as I mentioned a couple of times in the past. However, I have an idea for something in the future that we could use it for. But I definitely want to try out the different chisel variants of those blocks. And I hope I don't forget anything. 
<laughs> that you guys commented on. If I did, feel free to comment again. But um, one more thing is that I wanted to try out getting the fans in again uh, into the enclosure that I talked about at the end of last episode, I think. What was the block again? The technical blocks? Um, it was a lot of iron bars. Let's just take the ones we have. I should have stored them somewhere. Okay, but that's the plan for today. Trying out all kinds of stuff and showing you guys what we did on the stream. We did quite a bit of work this time. I was streaming a little longer, I think about two and a half hours. And we got a lot done. So let's take a good, hard look at it. Is it gonna, is it gonna get night time? Should I sleep? Huh, we are gonna be mostly inside, so I'm gonna... I'm not gonna sleep. I'm gonna try and get through this without... Uh, without sleeping and without dying, hopefully. But yeah, as you already can see, I started working up there a bit and... Can't wait to show you guys. But first of all, hashtag find the compi. <laughs> oh, we played that quite a couple of times also. While I was live streaming. I do you guys see him? Oh, no. Oh I think he's back there. Ha! Hashtag found the compi. Awesome. Um so he has grown a little bit, but not too much. I have the Dinopedia on me, which is the most important thing. Let's get in there. Let's use our secret entrance to visit our little compi friend and check out how old he is by now. Should be a couple of days old. There are you. Well hidden with the jungle leaves who are exactly the same color. Two days. A little hungry, not too bad. And I don't know, has he grown? I feel like he has grown a little bit. It's so hard to say if you don't have a, a really small one to compare it to. But I think he's gotten bigger. He looks a little bigger. He's not as tiny anymore. Oh, I have a torch here? Why would I have a torch? Oh, right, I left it here for the egg to hatch him. That's right, I forgot about that already again. So yeah, we... I think off camera I'm gonna get rid of all these trap doors and I'm gonna just put a carpenter's block. Let's try that once, okay? Let's try it on one thing on camera. And then I'm gonna try it off camera. Let's get dirt in there. Grab the torch. Like that. Like that. And boom. Boom! Oh man, that's even brighter. That's a lot brighter than the trapdoor would ever be. I think that's pretty amazing. Very well hidden lighting. And um, yeah, I'm still not sure about... Oh crap, I totally forgot about the, the technical blocks, did I? Hmm. Anyway, I'm gonna do that off camera, I think. Placing some glowstone, get this whole thing done a little brighter and maybe add some fans to the ceiling. Um, let's try the ball of moss though, I wonder. So I can throw that, what does that mean? Oh. What happened? Where did it go? Did it just explode? I thought I could like place it somehow. Crap. Well, those were our vines for today. I mean, they are spreading so I could get some more vines from here. But uh, that's all the vines that I had. I don't have some shears on me. If you know what happened there or how to use them, let me know in the comments. I would be very interested in hearing how it exactly works. But I really love this enclosure. Um, one of you complained about that it's too much greenery and it's gonna be really hard to find the compies. But I think once we have like five or six compies in here, you are, you are able to find at least one or two. I think it should be fine. And also, so far, he seemed to avoid the water. I don't know if it was random that he didn't drown yet or if he actually is as smart as his uh, bigger carnivore relatives. But... So far he hasn't drowned. I hope he can keep up the streak. I'm going to wait at least one, a, few, a little longer, a little longer before I get more compies in here. Because I really want to know if this water pond might be um, a hazard for our compies or not. Before I get more in here. Oh, that reminds me that there was another comment that I forgot about. Uh, one of you suggested to put some lily pads on there. And I really wanted to do that. I think it would be awesome having some lily pads on here. But yep. Yeah. I forgot all about those in the lab. I wanted to bring them. Anyways, guys, I think it's time to show you what we accomplished during our live stream. So let's go up the staircase and take a look at it. There we go. 
This is our pathway and I'm already... Okay, um, so we... It's kind of hard to see, but I terraformed a lot. We built this pathway along the side down here. Initially, I thought of building a staircase up to the viewing platform right away, but I thought it was a little too steep, so I decided to go around a bit. To go on this level and the mountain is here, so it's not hovering in the air or anything. Um, so this goes along here. And then you go up the staircase and go up this staircase and then we are on the viewing platform. Um, I resisted the urge to make it circular because I thought it would be a little bit too boring just having a circular shape. So we have this weird, what did I call it? I think I called it a kidney shape or maybe a small banana shape <laughs> for, the, for the viewing platform. But I think it's cool. It's a little different. Um, it's not hovering too much. I kind of fit it in, in with the mountain uh, shape. And we can go all the way over here, have a look at the future enclosure that's going to be here. And we can all go all the way to the other side, have a nice overview over the Dynanikus enclosure, the smeltery and the house and whatever goes here later on. And we can also stand here and have a nice look over the, the, the ravine here and whatever I'm going to build on the other side. I'm not sure yet. And uh, we also decided against some more lamps on the floor like I did down there everywhere. So, so far, pretty much on every pathway over there and on this design too, I had the light sources in the floor. And I decided to try something else and go with a lantern variant. And uh, yeah, this is what this is supposed to be. We tried out different variants with different glowstone textures, but I think that looks the best. The neon glowstone. Okay, so what we did, we have a carpenter's barrier here. We make that the thick one, then we fill it in with the small cobblestone bricks. I think they look good together. And then we just put this guy on top and we got the neon glowstone. Put it in and, okay, I don't have the iron bars on me, but basically what that is, is just the chiseled iron bars that we already used here. It's pretty dark in here still too, isn't it? Maybe I need to do something about that. Or maybe... Wait. ba -bam! Light! That might be a little too bright. I mean, I could... That's almost cheating, isn't it? <laughs> Having light everywhere just by putting some dust on the floor that you actually can't see. I mean, of course, it does make everything a lot brighter and nicer. Let's see, can I do it here too? Totally. It makes everything a lot brighter and nicer, so I'm not sure. Let me know what you think about that, guys. I'm curious to hear your opinion on the whole dust thing. I mean, it's very simple to use, it's very cheap to use. So I think it would be cool. But I kind of have a... I don't know. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. I want to hear you guys' opinion. Alright. So that's what we did. Doesn't look like too much now that I look at it, huh? <laughs> but we spent quite a bit of time. We also worked out like the retaining wall here with all the stone. Getting that to look nice and kind of fitting the retaining wall we have on the bottom. So this is basically the foundation for the viewing platform. And initially I had just a complete diagonal pathway going over here and then I had to adjust it a little bit. You see there's a little bit of a curve in here, just a tiny bit um, to go around the foundation. Um, but overall I'm really really happy with how this all turned out. I'm also gonna get some glass panes. Glass panes? Probably glass panes. Maybe iron bars. Iron bars are glass panes, I have to decide yet. Um, to make a safety rail here so you can't fall off into the ravine. But overall I think it looks really nice. Did I start? Yeah, I started putting some foundation down here too. I will continue doing that. Um, having the guy all the way around. So when you are down here it actually looks stable. And not like we did something stupid and built it on dirt. But I think that looks pretty good with the... I mean these stone brick textures, I love them to bits. I almost wish that uh, um, default stone brick textures would look kind of like that. I think it would be pretty neat because they look so much more detailed and uh, a little more realistic. I mean, they look a little older, so it's gonna be hard to get like, hmm. Yeah, I don't know if I would rather have them. I would, I would like to, oh, you know what? I think those should be the cracked stone bricks. The normal cracked stone brick texture, the default one looks too, too nice still. 
too plain and too too complete, I guess. I need more cracks in there. Oh man, what's going on here? Zombie invasion? Get out of here. You yeah, I, I probably need some more light in here after all. So, hmm. Let me know what you think about the glowstone. Let me know. Alright, let me do some work. Sleep the night away, do some work, and then I'm gonna come back to you and show you what I've done. Alright, I made it, I think, a lot brighter. I added a lot of glowstone. By I went to the nether, actually, and got some more glowstone dust real quick. I also added the uh, lily pads. I went to the swamp and got a few of those. I think three is a good number. Looks about right, but yeah, I hope it's a lot better now. Oh, crap! Ah, uh, I forgot about the fans again. <laughs> Dang it! I knew I forgot something. Uh, literally, a few seconds before I started recording, I thought, huh, did I get everything done that I wanted to get? Do I have everything in my inventory that I need? And now I figured out, nope, I don't. I don't have the technical blocks again. But our compi is still doing fine down there. And with it being brighter, I think it's easier to see him, because he is kind of dark himself. So, I, by the way, talking about compi, someone said that they are actually uh, purple compis. And uh, that's an interesting color. I don't know about that. We might have to try that out. Um, I added a few more glowstone dusts here too. I centered them on the stairs now, so it kind of looks like the light is coming from the lamps on the side. But as you see, if I get rid of it, it's getting a lot darker. Where did it go? I hope I picked it up. Um, but I think it's kind of neat. Not sure if I should add more or not. But yeah, let's let's figure out the lamps here. I wanted to show you guys how I did those. Um, I have some more iron bars, a whole stack, and I use the ornate iron pane fence. And what you do, you can just right-click them on carpenter's blocks. It's so easy, it is so easy, and it looks so gorgeous. There's a little bit of a problem, as you saw. I couldn't really um, put them on top, because this is what happens. It looks really weird, it shows the top of the iron bar, basically. Um, so that's not working, right? However... Fortunately, we already saw that we have a glass texture with almost the same, well, I guess it's the same texture. And I brought some glass, so let's try this out. It was this one here, on it, steel glass. And it should work like that, yes, look at it. It is a bit, little bit of a different texture now that I see it. You see, it's a little more detailed going around here and it's just connecting to the center here. But um, from a distance, I think it should... Wait, what are you stealing there, my friend? Any of my blocks? Whoop. Okay, got that done. Oh, it's just dirt. Okay. You still have to die. Don't kill me. I died from an enderman on stream. Ah, ha, ha, not this time. Not this time, my friend. All right, let's add those around. And this is the lamp design that we came up with on stream. And I really like it. I might use it in... Oh. Um... Can I? No, I cannot. I tried, I think, placing one below, but I think it dropped immediately because it has an adjacent block. You can only do that when there's an air block next to those. Um, do I have a shovel? I do still have a shovel! Look at me! Be not prepared and stuff. And it's getting daytime too, so you can see that too. It's still a little dark on this side, so either I'll have to get some... Hello? What do you want? Nothing? Alright, it's fine with me. Either I have to put some lamps into this design, or I just put some glowstone dust around. It still feels like cheating to me. Oh, look at this beautiful sunrise here. And yeah, what I'm gonna do is... I don't think I wanna use these iron bars as a safety rail up here. What other options do we have? Something that looks nice? Nah, I don't think... I guess... Menacing iron spikes? Or just iron spikes? Let's try those. I haven't seen those yet at all. They look weird when they're not connected. They look dangerous too. I Oh, crap. I want to provide safety and not uh, hazards where people can get hurt. So let's fix this. Let's not leave any marble block behind because I don't want to go back already again to get some more. How do the other iron spikes look like? They look kind of like they are connected, right? Yeah, it's not too bad. Looks a little less hazardous, a little safer. But I think I would rather go with the glass design. 
I don't know which one though. Let's craft a set of glass panes here. Um, because we have to use panes up there. I can't use full blocks. I mean, I guess I could. But it would be... It would cause more problems than it would solve. I don't want to use my silk touch all the time. I used it to get all the lights and the trapdoors and the grass out of the compi enclosure. That's why it was there still. All right. Um, let's see what variants we have for this one. We have a lot less than we would have for a full block. For example, we don't really have the... Um, all the the different framed ones, unfortunately. We have lots of different um, Chinese and Japanese patterns. I mean, we tried that before, didn't we? That looks like it would fit in the most. Either that or maybe the bubble glass pane. Let's try that out first, just to see. I might have to ask you guys again. That looks actually pretty modern. I think I could go with that. That's not too bad at all. Let's try a few others. Let's do four at the... Wait. One, one, two, three, four, five. That's six. I need less. I, I want four patterns. And 16 divided by four is obviously four. So come back to me. Four of those. Let's try four of the borderless ones. Oh my god. That's... One, two, three, four... That's interesting. It's kind of cool. I wish they would at least in the corners be like a, like a support or something because this way it looks really kind of weird having nothing there. Okay, that's another one. Number two, I'm gonna let you guys decide once again. Um, we're gonna try out this tree class pane. Yeah, I think we're gonna try that out. As option number three, no, no, no. That's just for... That's not That's not a good glass for what we have in mind here, I think. Um, oh, we have even more options, don't we? Uh, let's try the Japanese one. I almost liked it for the... This is kind of cool. It looks a little older. But I don't think it's bad at all. Hmm... So that's number three. What else should we try? Should I try this one? Nah, I think it would look weird. Do we want to try a complete Japanese one? I didn't plan on making this, this area Japanese. Let's make maybe some color. I don't know. Nah, it's too colorful, I think. Nah, 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 nah. We're not gonna do that. Maybe we're gonna only have three options. Maybe I'm gonna put the iron bars up to have a fourth option. But... I think those are all three pretty good. Let's see. Let's try the screen one. I don't think it's gonna look good, but I wanna try it at least. Nah. Nah. Not happening. Not happening. Not happening. Not happening at all. Okay. I guess the last option we have is kinda... going with those guys again. They take off... They take a lot of vis visibility, but they definitely feel a lot more secure than any of the glass ones. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna define those as our four options. So we have these ones: the bubble glass, which has these nice little streaks and support beams um, every every single block, which is kind of nice. We have the totally modern-looking, just pure glass safety rail. We have the kind of older-looking uh, Japanese-styled one. Which is also not bad. And we have the full-blown safety iron iron bars here. Okay, so one, two, three, four. I want your opinion, guys, in the comments. Um, let me know what you prefer. And if you, if you think it would help me with the decision, let me also know why you would prefer different ones. Um, but yeah. That's, I think, gonna have to be it for today already. I think we've recorded for a long time. I did some nether work in between. We did a lot of progress on the live stream before. So I think it was a good episode. We got a lot of stuff done. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. Next time, we're gonna hopefully... Maybe, hopefully, this is already finished when I get to the live stream. Next time, maybe we're gonna tackle this bridge. Did I mention it at all? 
that I wanted to have a bridge over here, so it's going to go up here and go down here, and on this level, we're going to have a bridge right over there, a really big bridge. It's going to be visible from a lot of places, so it needs to be very, very good looking. Possibly an arch, maybe another style. If you have an idea for a good bridge style that I could do, let me know too. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to building this bridge. It's going to be a lot of work, but I think it's going to pay off when we look at it in the end. So either that's going to be an option, or we start laying out this enclosure over here. I'm not sure yet. We'll figure it out. Alright, I rambled on for long enough. Hope you enjoyed. Leave a like if you did, and I will see you all again in the next one. But until then, have a nice day. And seriously, guys, don't be daft. Play some Minecraft.